If you want to be successful in your VA business, then you really need to discover what is your competitive advantage. And that competitive advantage will also mean you can decide on exactly what VA service you should actually be focusing on and selling. What industry are you going to be targeting? So guys, it's Lynn Padetti here. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing a little snippet from my mentoring session with one of my students where I was trying to help him to discover his talent, discover what kind of service he could actually sell. And you'll find here that I'm giving him some examples of other students that has found their niche. So here's the thing, you can outsource to anybody and doing anything, but which one is going to make you succeed the most? For me, I stuck with the marketing type VAs because that's the business that I got started in. I got started in digital marketing, providing those services and then decided to pivot into providing VAs with that skill set. But if you have accounting experience, then it's a smarter idea if you got into a VA business that can do accounting because you know that knowledge, but then you go one deep further and decide on the type of customers that you have experience in helping as well. So listen up as I share some amazing tips that can really cut your time of learning and trial and error. So enjoy. Recruiting VAs, whether local or overseas, no problem easy to find the biggest challenge for, as an entrepreneur is finding a niche finding something that you're really good at in terms of your knowledge of the customers your knowledge of the industry and then solving mm-hmm. the problem so to give you an example i mentored a, a guy the, the other day and what i really like is that he came from the freight industry so he had a freight business himself he knows mm-hmm. the inside and out of freight businesses He had VAs that was helping him in his freight business. Then he decided, I'm going to start a VA business offering VAs that are specialized in freight. So he knows, right, the the process, the system. The So what does he do? He he target other freight companies. And he's got so much credibility because, hey, I want to have what you've done for yourself, right? It makes it super easy. And so he's able to look at a holistic approach and it's not like, going out there to everyone and go, oh, do you need a VA? Do you need a VA for this or that? It's just too random. Whereas this is like, I have a VA for you. They're trained. And so he's also kind of creating a bit of a training or system and process templates, whatever, right? Clients are coming in, not just needing a person. They're needing someone that's going to solve their freight business problem. Does that make sense? Right. Yes. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the most experience I definitely have is uh, in sales, so sales and customer service. Mm-hmm. And so that is pretty much it. Cause I, I know I there's, cause before with, with our company, we never hired VAs to do anything, any sales other than transferring the call to us, uh, to the uh, sales agent. So yeah. like warming up a lead for us, right. They would cold call these leads and they would uh, qualify them and then send them over to the, the sales agent to make the sale. But the sales agents were all in Vancouver. So mm-hmm. we would hire all the sale, sales agents here. And so when COVID hit, you know, we had to lay some people off and things like that. And we couldn't work from the office anymore. So it was a little bit tough to get a, you know, a solid sales team going. Yeah. So we were thinking then, you know what, why don't we try recruiting and, and you know, getting the, the offshore, you know, finding offshore agents to sell right? Because they're really good at doing transfers and qualifying the leads. And they're really interpersonal with people and and they're good with English. So why don't we give it a shot with sales? So we did that and it's been amazing. There you go. Selling and that's a business idea there for you. So a lot of companies have sales problems. If I could start it all again, I would be asking myself these questions that I'm asking you, right? But I didn't. And so I went down the path of providing kind of any types of VAs to any types of businesses. But of course, within a month or two, I start, I realized that my specialty is in marketing, you know, like, cause I had a digital agency. So anytime uh-huh. they talk about marketing stuff, I know what I'm talking about. Anytime they're mm-hmm. asking me about some sort of other things, I'm like, I actually tried. I actually, they even said, oh, can you recruit me someone in Vietnam that could do this? I'm like, sure. Cause how to outsource is not the hard part. Uh, finding the people. It's just that I end up going, I actually don't know how to help you because I won't know if they're actually good at their job because I don't know the process of that particular role well, right? Right. And so nowadays when when we work with clients, the outcome comes better if the client knows what they're doing, meaning they have a system, they have a process, they just want a staff member to plug in. That's it, right? And that works well. Mm-hmm. But then there are clients out there that lacks not just a staff member, but a system. 
So if you could come up with you kind of regenerate that system that you have created for this company and go, this is what the sales process looks like, you know, and this is the template they need to follow, the script they need to do and blah, blah, blah. People will pay for that. And you are not just a VA company. You are a sales machine optimizer or you are whatever. Right? So I, I just engaged with someone uh, recently and we engaged with him because we're building out our sales team. And we actually don't know what's the best way because I've started doing sales, then I have my sales girl, but we've never built a team. And so we relied on looking for someone that knows their stuff. And so someone that I know said he started this business. And so how he's solving my problem is that he has experience in the sales system. And then he says, he shows me how to, what the job description looks like, how much to pay the person. And I, I'm, I'm recruiting someone from Australia, not from overseas, but that's only probably because I feel like I need someone from Australia. But if you could come up with the solution said, you know, even Filipinos can do it, right? Right, yeah. I might be your potential customer, right? But I yeah. basically engaged with someone like him just because I was like, I don't know, What's the best method to get a sales? Look, at the end of the day, I want a very effective business development person and salesperson. And if you could help me by creating the sales process and finding me the person, I'm happy to pay that. And so that mm. is his service. And he calls himself the high ticket sales machine or service, right? Mm-hmm. It's not a, hey, I'll find you a VA staff to help me you with Um, your sales area or something so start thinking about how are you transforming that person's business in that way so as you can see guys i really want you to think deeper into your experience and what you're good at because not only that you're going to be really enjoying the process because you are good at doing it you are confident in delivering the results and it's going to make you differentiate from other people. Whereas if you go out there and try to copy some other VA company and offer anything and everything, and you don't actually know how to do the service, then it's going to take you a long time to be successful. So your homework is take a audit or memory back in time of the industries that you've worked with, the type of customers that you really work strongly with and understand their problems. And then also, you know, what are some of the roles that you've played in the in the past in different jobs? You know, do you know an inside and out uh, process of a particular job? You know, how can you do that for other more business owners? And when you do that, you create the process and you really think about, you know, what templates, what checklists, what systems will I be able to create so that when I do hire a VA to work you know, using this system, it's going to get results for clients. So now that's my homework for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Yeah, I really want you to enjoy what you do and last in this industry and this business. And hence, it's not about copying what's out there, but doing the inside work of what you're going to be good at and what you love doing and what you're passionate about. And so, yeah, love to hear in the comments below what some of, what are some of the ideas that you have there. And for this particular student, he's very excited to be going into the sales area so sales process and getting VAs trained up in the sales area so I can't wait to see what he gets up to but other than that if you have any questions for me love to hear in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video